architecture has to be sensitized with the soul so i sometimes i am very crude like senseless glass towers irrespective of the behavior of the sun the climatic condition you know all that is missing today we humbly and proudly say that mujhe architecture bolna nahi aata so i used to say architecture today is all capacity building so quality is missing quantity we are enlarging i mean i am very fortunate that we doing the ayodhya terminal building you know understanding the complete philosophy of ramayana and then translating that into the terminal building welcome to the beyond blueprint podcast i'm your host akhilesh chitlangya i'm the third generation entrepreneur from duroka industries limited where i serve as the executive director and coo through this podcast our aim is to uh, demystify the architectural and design space in india i hope you like the content if you do uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share more great content coming your way um welcome to another episode of beyond blueprints on today's episode we have professor charanjit singh shah from the creative group a creative group today is known as the airport king of india in fact professor shah is personally known as the airport king of india uh, as a group they don't have their footprint only in india they are also recognized internationally for their work uh, within india they have worked on over 22 airports multiple land ports railway stations and a host of other infrastructure work um, internationally they worked in countries such as rwanda uh, eastern europe uh, gabon and kazakhstan etc uh, professor shah is a great humanitarian architect by profession but truly from his heart he is an amazing amazing human being and there's a lot to learn from his vast experience and with that i would like to welcome him on the show thank you sir and thank you for having us uh, having this conversation with me uh pehla sawal to main janna chahta hu aapse about your upbringing your childhood and i read a little bit about you so, but i would like you in your words to tell our audience um, how was it growing up uh, through the uh, 50 60s and then how you came into your professional life was one namaskar to all the viewers and uh, thank you very much for uh, you know this you know life is a beautiful journey and uh, it's like uh, you progressively go through various uh, i would say stages of life and uh, but the only thing which uh, uh, with time of course for after post independence there have been a lot of uh, you know cultural economical and other changes which has you know is part of the overall development of our nation and that uh, actually reflects into the architecture the human settlement right so it's a big change from the you know starting to you know i started my practice uh, practically in 1970 i was born in a refugee camp and uh, in you know post partition time of you know uh, of uh, division in india pakistan and india we from the other side of uh, india that islamabad rabat pindi we came in to purana kila here and uh, settled down uh, slowly and so slowly and uh, see I, i would say that any profession but particularly architecture yeah. architecture has to be sensitized with the soul it's like uh, generally i say you know it's like mini creator god has created this universe and then probably we say where does the god live he live within his own creation right so similarly i would rather put it that um, architecture is architect is also a mini creator and if you this sensitize the architecture perhaps the architect has to live within his own creation so that fundamentally means that you putting heart and soul into the architecture which you create so i am very fascinated that and uh, thankful to the god, god that uh, i have what uh, looked into various elements like from micro to macro level right. right so started as a freelance you know just from a small house to a small interior to i would say that proudly 
now we're doing the largest projects and we into nation making. Right. So that is what the journey is all about. So thoda sa ye explore karna chahta hu. This journey from um, you were born in a refugee camp and let's up your life from multiple halves may break up karte. Um, what was it uh, because a lot of viewers would be young they would we've read about partition uh, we've read about uh, these refugee camps but bahut uh, rare iske bare mein zyada depth mein koi baat karta hai unless someone experienced it as you have what was life uh, us samay aapke man mein kya thi uh, when you were growing up and then up architecture ke space mein aaye kaise how did you come into architecture See, uh, I would say I'm an incidental architect. Right. You know, not that I was very ambitious. Uh, yeah, I'm an architect, but nah, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, but only thing is, my uh, parents ne, ye, un mere dimag mein dala tha yaar engineer nahi karni. Right. You know, some civil engineering that was uh, like on the top at that time because India was all needing civil engineers. Yeah. You know. Uh, so, I got admission in Jodhpur. Mein, सिविल इंजीनियरिंग में उस समय बट टू टच दैट बिफोर आई वुड पुट इन लाइक ए रिफ्यूजी यू नो वेन आई वॉज बॉर्न इन द टेंट इन पुराना किला एंड दो मच यू नो वाई बिकॉज वी फ्रॉम द अदर साइड ऑफ इंडिया वेन माई पेरेंट्स दे गॉट मैरिड हेयर यू नो दे गॉट एंगेज हेयर एंड मैरिड हेयर ओके एंड देन आई वॉज बॉर्न आफ्टर एन ईयर बट इन द टेंट एंड बट ऑन थिंग वॉज एट वी वर वेल ऑफ देयर एंड माई फादर वॉज educated and uh, he was you know graduate from that side and uh, you know <clears throat> his uh, fundamentally was that you know my we beside the grub which you need uh, if the education could be there you know and probably you can get some sort of a degree in engineering so i started there then i got uh, in, you know admission there in jodhpur in civil engineering and uh, somebody told my father you know there is a new line architecture right oh naksha banate you know? <laughs> that was the definition <laughs> and uh, you and i would very humbly and proudly say that mujhe uh, architecture bolna nahi aata right because uh, as you spell it it is like architecture yes so i used to say architecture so mujhe matlab i was not that short of yeah. uh, fluent to even speak of architecture तो स्लोली कुछ समझ आई तो आई आई ज्वाइन आर्किटेक्चर हेयर बिकॉज वी डेट अ मनी टू गो एंड लिव इन ए होस्टेल देयर एंड पे फॉर द होस्टेल एंड आई से बेटर वेर डू ए डिग्री इन आर्किटेक्चर बट आई एम वेरी फॉर्चुनेट दैट एस पी इज वन ऑफ द प्रीमियम इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड वी हैड द बेस्ट ऑफ फैकेलिटी you know name any architect of the time of that contemporary time he was teaching us from kanvinde ji to rajwal kuldeep singh jasbi sadev jasbi sani you know jawala you know murad choudhry you know shivna prashad you know joseph einstein you know all these were our teachers you know and slowly and slowly when i just dig out uh, and uh, trying to learn their style nick abuzia you know they in the late 1960s he was here you know creating chandigarh so that was the time when there was some new nation making in some new materials and that was the time when organic architecture grew in india in exposed concrete exposed brick you know all organic and sustainable architecture you know play of layering the building you know wrapping the building you know in terms of some jalis some other thing where you call today we may call some sustainable architecture in some other language right. but that is the truest of true sustainable architecture which you see in any of the stein's building or you see in any of the lee kabuse building you know and the amalgamation of art and architecture the color the artistic flavor the aesthetics that was fundamentally 
you know, outspoken. You know, you see any of the building of uh, Rika Buzi or Chandigarh, you see a lot of color, a lot yeah. of volume, a lot of play of, uh, you know, lyrical, uh, you know, exp aspiration of aesthetic sense, which today I can, I will just say that today you find glass towers, you know. Like uh, I sometimes I find very crude, like senseless glass tower, irrespective of looking into the oscillation of sun, the behavior of the sun, the climatical condition, you know, all that is missing today, you know. But the great masters of that time, which they created, is like a touch of soul. Why I say that? Because, you know, uh, the architecture perhaps. It should not be treated as a mass of brick and concrete, right? You know, uh, as a dead uh, uh, this thing, but uh, it has to have some life into it, and you can put life into architecture. Perhaps when you put all all elements of other arts into it, and then it speaks out, yes. it breathes. So it's like embedded with nature. So perhaps that is the type of architecture which is sustainable and grounded. So, I mean, I learned so much, then I started, okay, that's, you know, you need to understand first, then you try to apply that into your own works, you know. Right. Maybe it is a copy. I, I try to copy, you know, like Rajuals, aspired geometry or, you know, uh, other aspects of engineering. You know, how do you get the the language, architecture, vocabulary from the structure, the engineering innovation becomes the architecture vocabulary. So these are the processes from the great masters. You try to understand that copy it, you know, effectively. And you say, yes, I, look, I can understand and I can see the behavior. The material changes makes it cross right. What's your? F I love the passion with it. You just described um, what architecture is all about. Um, what's your favorite uh, design, building, or infrastructure which you have not created? You know, uh, uh, when I started my practice in nineteen seventy, then after that, you know, I was in habit of uh, doing uh, all these. Uh, open competitions right. or limited competitions mm -hmm. and then you see you try to put in your design in this thing and uh, it's like being assessed by a jury and then you get the project so my first ambitious project was national cooperative union of india that is Johar nehru national cooperative complex at host cars which i won in 1976 so there uh, uh, i had a mandate to make it absolutely cost effective right and also, the, as, as a desire of an architect, to that it becomes iconic too, yeah. dynamic. So that is what I tried there. And uh, still today also, when I see this, uh, I am happy that still the building exists uh, from mm -hmm. 1976 to today. This is your design. One which is an inspiration for you in general, not designed by you. Inspiration has been like uh, Rajwa's, you know, project. Uh, uh, I would say, you know, the STC building, you know, then Hall of Nations right. or Stein's building, you know, which not earlier, I mean, the earliest is uh, India International Center, which I used to see every now and then, you know, how the play of Jali outside, how cutting the sun, how do you make the west more cool and not the glared sun goes inside. And the type of jali which he is using, even in brick jali, in uh, you know, uh, uh, or into uh, uh, ceramic jali, you know, all that uh, is very inspiring. Then how the landscape, you know, how you layer the landscape is very important. Sometimes what happens, you make the wheel form, and you forget about the surroundings, the landscape. So you need to see how the peripheral tree to the the, the evergreen trees to water body to shrub to you know how the the landscape is practically touching the wind direction and how the wind flows and how by cutting the wind speed by the 
peripheral trees to the larger trees with the shaded trees and the same wind which is speeded wind and a hot wind from how to create from 44 to 28 degrees temperature from outside in the landscape and then after the landscape uh, layer then you layer the building how do you wrap the building the tapping is very important but today unfortunately we're putting glass no see uh, well, you know your culture uh, when a hot and dry you know climate when you see you go to rajasthan or you go to raipur you wrap the building with a dapatta to cover your skin so it doesn't get burnt so similarly sensitizing the building also as a body so that whatever you do you the skin of the building should not be burnt so the wrapping of the building sensitizing with the material application is very important so generally that's why i i i i but i think that, you know spiritually spirituality will take it separately but unless and until you do passive ways of design you will not be able to create your organic architecture right so passives are in the wind the, the solar movement you know the water bodies all these five elements are very very important and sensitizing that with your design in case you are able to do that then you have a touch of soul yes aapne kaha ki today's buildings have a lot of glass usage um and usage of glass is i think clients from the client's perspective also somehow they liking that uh, having a lot of glass why is that a, uh, just for the audience why is that a challenge uh aapko ye pasand kyun nahi why are you not liking the usage of glass the way it is no, no, I, i use glass i'm not yeah. saying no, no the way it is being done by so creating glass structures you see that i get north as clear free light yes not i don't get sun yeah i only get light so i can use maximum glass or not yeah. i need to have some tools to justify my application of glass i need maximum glass because i need to have outside view you know when i'm talking about south i need to have shaded south you know because the vertical sun on south is if it is shaded the glare will not go and so when i talk about west the sun is low at this level then i need to protect the harsh west sun and i need some penicillation so in case you are able to control the movement of the glare sun when protecting it and making it cool light effect that's welcome but if i am doing cosmetic i'm say oh i put the you know a, a glass on all four side without respecting the solar movement on the west it's all heated and then i say oh i will justify by putting a double laminated glass insulating glass you know that i oh i am reducing the cool, the, uh, the, the heating cooling uh, the cooling so that is perhaps yeah. a reality of architecture where you add on materials because you are sensitive to some use of some material so that is what uh, i that's why i always say that let the design process grows with the basic process of thought and thought is that i need a shelter which should be comfortable even without air condition why do i need to use all these tools which are practically manifestation of my own you know foolies of design so you know if you see my great heritage india you know when you say hawa mahal you will see any of the you know you go to jaisalmer you see the narrow shading visual shading between the two building they are narrow because i don't need more sun it's like coming down like this and getting less sun going inside but the minimum light which is required for me goes in the heat doesn't go in and that perhaps that is the more, you know the the courtyard becomes comfortable even at 2 o'clock in june july in summers right. so for, i mean i that's why i say 
you create net zero you using your own energy using your own water resource management try to you know if you see all these step wells you see lakes you see shaded step wells you see bowlies you know they i just need to collect my water strong water into some sort of a storage which is good for me for the years to come so that we have lost so i say that the great heritage needs to be preserved conserved and implemented now today i need to be very conscious that whatever the great ancestors have done that's a big science which i am ignoring so i mean i do respect that let's to be very contemporary and global but global you know in intervention is all right but empowerment you know empowerment makes me like copying yeah. imitating so no, no not understanding that this part of the continent is different than the yes. european part and the american yes. part in climate in social economical culture all are different so uh, i i am uh, uh, very sensitive in uh, terms of the we need to create architecture like three p's place people and purpose you know where i'm making for whom i'm making and what is the purpose when and once i make that then i have the belongingness and then there is a touch of soul yes this is in punjab or this is in bengal um, and i'm not dis- distinguishing but the culture heritage if maintained within the contemporary way of understanding then i will feel yes ye mera hai jo mera hoga to main usko kabhi kharab nahi kar sakta so that's you know every building is like my own child i am the mother and i that's why i generally say that every child is born within the motherhood then there is a difference between motherhood and womanhood today we borrow a womanhood we borrow a vessel put somebody's sperm into there and the child is born that child which is born in a borrowed vessel doesn't have emotions doesn't have sanskar that doesn't have that sort of a motherly attachment because within the motherhood for 9 months mother feeds you that is the motherhood of architecture during the planning stage if i do any design i will look into those nine months of design as the production of the child right so within nine months as the motherhood is very conscious of golga peni khai wo mandir jaye if she is smoking she will not smoke in those nine months they probably why because she wants to give good, the best like, nutrition like abhi man new you know that's over history you know arjuna abhimanyu was born with you know something which they were talking and he could get it in the mother's soul but if it is a borrowed woman hole maybe she is not concerned she is on a contract so that is where the mother who plays there you get organism of architecture and where the woman who plays there you get the cosmetic architecture. you are only fancy you are like a mechanical production machine which is not putting architecture which has a belongingness but only a space design sure. so that's the difference wonderful aapne refer kiya to the soul very often in our conversation already so far and i know you are a very spiritual person what is spirituality to you you know first of all uh, you know if i take one shabad of gurbani you know it's like bhai purapur manuk de huriya gobind milen ke ho teri badiya avar kaaj tere kite na kaam mil saad sangat bhaj keval naam the essence of life is to be jisko hum na kabhi kabhi ye bolte hain जो जल में जल आए खटाना त्यों ज्योति संग ज्योत समाना यू आर ए रे ऑफ द सन यू नीड टू मर्ज इन टू सन 
and become sun. Similarly, you are a drop of ocean. And you, when you go into the ocean, you become ocean. That is what life is all about. And in case I am able to understand that why this body of five elements have been given to me. This body, purpose You know? Now all these five senses. No, sight, smell, you know, taste, yeah. hearing and ये इनका काम क्या है इनका काम करना है कि वो जो देखती है वो अंदर जाता है and according to that the body starts functioning the eyes tell you oh there is something so you don't go there I don't go there so now the whole concept is that जिसको हम कर्म कहते हैं फिर कि from this five elements sensitizing with five senses if I am able to look into the five virtues and not into the five vices, then you are into the path of spiritualism. And that, that falls again to, to architecture. Spirituality is the birth to architecture. Because spirituality talks me nearer to the nature, nearer to the mankind, nearer to the humanity. You know, all the spirituality binds me with oneness of God, the universal touch, which probably will give me a direction where also I create oneness with the building. So whenever you see any great master's building, I only admire because the type of things which they have done is oneness, is the touch of material. No cosmetism of material has been adopted in any of those buildings. So that is what perhaps we are able to create that touch of spirituality into architecture that will be very humanistic. So that's the intake which uh, I generally try to be creating some symbolism, understanding from, you know, nature, shape, sizing, you know, materials, you know, all that so that whenever you go there, you know, and you go here, just you know, I was just narrating. I made Raipur Airport. Banaya. Right. So, there are two things in Raipur. One, fifty percent of the steel is being produced in Raipur. Absolutely. So I said, okay, we should make dynamism in steel uh, structure. Okay. And second is, you know, what I see around is Bastar art, mm-hmm. their local flavor. So we try to put both into that. So I made the structure there. So I made the structure there. So I made the structure there. तो अंदर की बात इसलिए बता रहा हूँ कि एक दिन मैं वहीं कॉफी शॉप पे बैठा था। हाँ जी। There are two guys sitting next to me. They were having a cup of coffee. कहते हैं सुबह के फ्लाइट से आए हैं। हाँ। अब शाम को जाना है। यहाँ पे ये जो बस्तर आर्ट लगी हुई है जो वाटर बॉडी है। हाँ। In or the way it has been done and ये बड़ा पानी की आवाज आ रही है। तो यार मैं तो रिलैक्स हो गया। so I said, I said, you are beautiful, I have This is my creation. So I am just giving you, you get your dividend. Yeah. If somebody just appreciates your architecture, just like, if you say, you are very good, you are very happy. So the architect is saying, you know, you get all your satisfaction. That is why, you know, because even when we did Chennai Airport, we did the largest of the cantilever, any, any, you know, 80 feet cantilever in any of the airport in the world, largest cantilever. So we were very fascinated. How, uh, but we know what was the, you know, difficulties, how do you do such type of a project, brownfield project, right. in which when there is no space. Yeah. So those things are the, 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 the uh, backup of a project. You know, when it comes to your mind, then you feel, oh, I'm thankful to God that we are able to do it. You know? So that is the great history. I, I want to talk a little bit about your uh, airport journey. So you've done 22, uh, the group has done 22 airports in India. A uh, lot of these airports are uh, AAI, Airport Authority of India, uh, airports. Eh? How is it working, A, uh, with the government of India? How's 
uh, that process and second of these 22 airports uh, which is the one that uh, is the closest to your heart and why no first of all uh, uh, with the, you know generally it's very difficult to work with government you know right because uh, the the parameters are different uh, the requirements are different you know and uh, the process is very lengthy and you know exhaustive and sometimes you probably think that after doing also the project does not take off we were very fortunate here at one this is one of, i i would rather appreciate that airport authority is one of the very premium you know the institution of government of india where there is a complete method methodology and uh, initially we did four airports with them we were, got in panel with them and there was one as a national limited design competition we were in panel there were about 10 12 architects in one in panel and and that was a raipur and uh, uh, we made the design is very as per council of architecture norms you know the drawings the designs were invited and uh, you know and uh, jury was there all code numbers everything and uh, there was global competition that was chennai you know very big project of 2500 crore and the credentials were not with any of the indian companies we were we collaborated right. with uh, you know american uh, gaslers you know and we did that so that was this you know like a stepping stone understanding the practice of global practice of architecture how all that flavor has to be there you know and i'm very fortunate that after doing chennai we transformed into a global player right you know and that is a big transformation for us and then you know then we did gabon gambia Congo and Kazakhstan, Belgrade, Nepal. So then we all the horizon became global. See, uh, why I'm saying this that uh, we in India today perhaps uh, 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 we are recognized as a global yeah. uh, uh, practice, practice, and particularly I would say in infrastructure and innovation. Yeah. Because we we is from a terminal building design. Then why said. why not make it holistic today is the time we need to be very holistic you know yeah. a to z in architecture like uh, in aviation then we start looking into all technicalities of making a master plan of a green field airport where you need air space expert air space conflict you know atc tower you talk about runway design you talk about you know uh, uh, other securities and uh, the the aircraft movements you know all that so then from there we got a chance we did shirdi airport as a greenfield airport then after that now we done like ayodhya uh, kohima itanagar you know the, the, the now we doing the master plan of nepal which is 20000 hectares with four runways so now we have become an expert into the airfield airport where we do everything we like behind architecture you know unless and until if we cannot be a frog in a well today if we talk about large projects right. you know you need to be very holistic you need to even talk about financial management return on money so the, the, the master planning and the uh, like detailed project report now we are expert in making that and we have the complete network within our own office where we can today we, we can really make any of the master plan for the aviation so that is like and similarly now into the railway station we doing all mixed use development making the uh, you know the large um, uh, facility in the railway stations and then how do get return on money on the land parcel of railway where we talk about ppp mode now now the, the practice has changed now because we have epc mode pp mode bot mode you know all that is coming so today you are not only a designer you are a guide you need to be a leader you need to command holistic understanding where you bake the projects you are this not only a chef but you are a management consultant also so i mean i generally say that in case you are able to 
lead, you have to become a manager. Good manager can only run a good architecture. Mira, I'm saying it's a matter. You said that it needs to have a holistic approach. You need to look after. You're talking about airports, the runway, the the way the flight is moving, the way the passengers uh, move through the terminal, security, uh, handling of luggage, handling of VIP movement, handling of car traffic, uh, how people go into the city, out of the city, then railway terminals. As you said, is becoming more integrated uh, in India. You should always go abroad and say India ke railway stations. I say, why not? And slowly, some of the railway projects that have been developing is becoming uh, semi-commercial restaurants, is a melting meeting pot of people, etc. This expertise that you've built of not only being an architect but becoming a management consultant, what pushed you in this direction? What 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 pushed you in this direction? इतने depth में जाने की इच्छा कहाँ से आई? देखो ऐसे है कि आप जब एक चीज करते हो ना हाँ. पहले तो हमने कभी एयरपोर्ट नहीं बनाया था एयरपोर्ट मीन्स ऑनली टर्मिनल बिल्डिंग दैट इज लाइक सिटी साइड आई एम नॉट मेकिंग अ मास्टर प्लान बट ऑनली मेकिंग सिटी साइड टर्मिनल वो बनाया हमने वी लर्न इन टू दी प्रोसेस हाउ फ्रॉम अवर ग्लोबल पार्टनर गैसलर तो वो हमें समझ आया फिर हमने देखा यार इसको बनाने से हम इधर ही रह जाते हैं तो नाउ वेन वे ट्राइंग टू नाउ आई मीन अम्बिशियसली वे ट्राइंग टू कम्पीट विद एज ए कॉम यू नो ऑल दिस के पी एम जी जी एल एल पी डब्ल्यू सी यू नो ऑल दिस कॉर्पोरेट प्लेयर्स हु हैव सच ग्रेट बिग ऑफिस ऑल ओवर द ग्लोब वी एज ए टाइनी ऑफ टाइनी क्रिएचर हेयर इन इंडिया विद ए फ्री लैंस प्रैक्टिस developed slowly and slowly gradually with an experiencing becoming a transport expert and uh, then we said okay now let's see that how we come into the master plan the other side because that's very sensitive that is the largest cake, cake then only terminal building because terminal building is only looking as a cosmetic yeah. you travel i travel yeah. we only see the terminal building and we do not know what is behind the terminal building and how the whole whole thing takes place so we started looking into that and when we started looking at that we called various other stakeholders and he said okay let's talk together let's see that we become organize ourselves as a larger player to get the larger cake right if you want to practice If you want to really be a good consultant, you need bigger allies together. So that was what made us go, and that's how we enlarged. And similarly, when we're doing this, then we came, you know, from airways to waterways to ferry terminal to highways to intermodal hub to land ports to you know all all these facilities which are now being done, and we are part of it. the basic parameters are the same but the segments various segments needs to be analyzed and once you analyze those segments put them to one basket then you become holistic so that was what i mean we ambitious ambitiously are trying to do so that we reach out we 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 are sensitizing ourselves to all aspects you know is project management it is construction management it is financial management it is quality management and is of course this design management so when you went on this path dar nahi laga hmm dar nahi laga dekho i said daro to tab na jab marne se dar ho and if you feel that yaar jo main kar raha hu main wo ek process pe ja raha hu तो आपको ना सक्सेस फिल फॉलो इट्स लाइक कोई भी आदमी देखो वो कहते हैं ना कि सीख के तो आता नहीं है एक्सपेरिमेंट करता है तो अगर तो एम्बिशियसली कैलकुलेटिव तो रिस्क लेना पड़ेगा तो कैलकुलेटिव रिस्क आप उसको प्लान वे से करते हो यार ये प्रोजेक्ट है इसमें मैं इसको इस तरीके से एक स्टेप नहीं पे काम कर रहा हूँ देन हायर यू नो वी बिकम वी बिकम you know collective players in a collaborative manner and once you are successful in a collaborative manner then it's okay let the collaboration be permanent 
and we become a vertical. So now from associating with people, now we have a vertical. So we can do. So today you give me anything and within two months I can uh, give you the master plan of any of the airport, uh, you know, uh, because uh, half of the things, 90% things are baked up in our mind. We can evolve, we can think, we can process, we can, you know. My question to you, sir, is that, and the reason I asked you uh, originally was because I come from a business background. How uh, do we uh, bar self doubt hota hai. Uh, how do you you know expand what if i do this it goes wrong uh, sometimes decisions go wrong aapke koi decisions that went wrong and you learned something a lot from that something you would like to share on that part dekho main ek kahunga ki first is truthfulness hmm. you know if you're truthful to yourself some risk you take, calculative risk you take when you are expecting the dividend. Yeah. You know, you have inspiration that in this business I'll get 100% and 80% and so much of profit. So your <clears throat> attitude of mind is focused on dividend. There you may or may be sometimes successful. You're copying somebody that he is doing this business. Why not I also do it and I can be successful. Hmm. But once you are absolutely truthful in a sense that you are not asking for the dividend. You know, you are only trying that you are going to go to You know, so I don't want anything. But I want to be successful means I want to try. So that is the difference. And once, then what happens? Step by step, you you rise a ladder. You are not, a, a, say nothing can be, Rome was not made in a day, like no, as do you say. Yeah. Similarly, even suppose, I'm not saying that, but it's all God's grace. So in, even in Gurwani he says, Nicho kare mera gobin. He is the one who can put you here, he can put you down yeah. there. Yeah. You know, but only thing is, for that also, like probably we were talking about Krishna. Yeah, I was the Bhagavad Gita. Usme, wow, Gita, you know, <clears throat> so all lessons, you know, if you become Arjuna, so I think Arjuna never had any defeat, but his defeat was also a success and success was also a defeat. No, after Yudhishthira winning over, he said, what I have won? Yeah. I have lost all my brothers. You know, where I am sitting now? He repented. No, if you understand that, then what happens that actually kya hai ki life mein hum jo kaam kar rahe hai na, to kabhi kabhi to kaam hi hota hai yaar ki mein isko itna multiply kar loo ki mere paas poor paise aas. Ek hota hai ki yaar mein kaam ko multiply kar loo ki kaam se flavor right. you know and uh, dividend is a byproduct uh, you can only miss out if you are unable to feed your staff and uh, that's your failure you know in case with God's grace you are able to make things move and you are able to also try to give the best of the design ability which you have experience so that is what ultimately is all about so I don't think that uh, uh, when you are not over ambitious, but if you are, you know, truthfully doing, carrying on anything, you will want to have success. I, I, I even, you know, Abdul Kalam, you know, first when uh, the first missile with the failure. Not, yeah, so he was failure. Yeah. Yeah, he said, what is mine? Yeah. Not he, yours. He took responsibility. He took the responsibility. And the next time is we went so high. So, but somebody has to try. You know, 90% things, the, the, the fault can be a very co small coefficient and rest with everything okay. So, similarly, maybe I, I can narrate that there are problems, there are issues, there are many more other concerns which also come to a project right. which are not highlighted, but you go through that journey, you know. Sometimes you don't have even a peanut in your uh, pocket. 
and you are running the office. You know, all those things happen. I've been there. I've been there. I've been. I've been in that situation. Yeah. Kind of things. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Um, Kartarpur was a project which you did. Thoda sa background. I know that project was stuck so, for a very long uh, time. Kartarpur to is like my heart yes. beat. You know, I why I say that uh, uh, being a you know Indian, then being a Sikh, being a Punjabi, you know. getting hold of guru nanak's touch you know uh, which uh, every you know uh, you know indian wanted that yaar wahan ke darshan ho jaye to wahan pe kuch kaam karne mein jab shuru hua to you know my actually my son did the major portion right. uh, good preet shah who is actually yeah. now uh, legacy is being transferred to him he is now looking into the practice uh, practically mostly and solely and uh, when this project came he said uh, papa you know uh, i have been uh, uh, recommended by somebody uh, to the home ministry to uh, make this uh, uh, land port building at uh, border though that was were well, not that time it was not that big you know 500 people were to go and from 500 to 5000 people today this facility has been generated तो इस ले लूँ मैंने कहा यार दिस इज समथिंग लाइक गॉड्स गिफ्ट दैट यू आर गेटिंग इट व्हाई नॉट तो लेट्स डू इट तो देन वी स्टार्टेड वी टू स्टार्टेड डूइंग इट एंड इट्स इज समटाइम यू द प्रोजेक्ट इज गिवन टू यू दैट इज द बिगेस्ट थिंग तो करतारपुर में हमें किसी के साथ कोई हमने बिल्ड नहीं दी हमें मतलब गवर्नमेंट ने बुला के हमें काम दिया यू नो एंड जब हम उसको काम को कर रहे थे तो मेरे दिमाग में आया यार ये दिस इज ए प्लेस जहाँ पे नानक का टच होना चाहिए सो आई स्टार्टेड आई आई स्टार्टेड लुकिंग इन टू इट रीडिंग टू इन टू हिस्ट्री ऑफ नानक दिलोसफी ऑफ नानक विच फॉर एप्स एज ए सिख यू नो मे आई मे हैव नॉट रेड सो मच बट आई वॉन्ट टू पुट दो एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग दैट इन टू द बिल्ड फॉर्म सो दैट जैसे ही वहाँ बंदा कोई जाए ना उसको ऐसे लगे यार नानक इज देयर माई नानक योर नानक इज नानक एवरीबॉडी इज नानक एंड नानक इज नॉट ए फिजिकल इज द कॉस्टिक पावर यू नो यूनिवर्सल टच हैज टू बी देयर वेयर इट इज पीस इट्स हार्मनी यू नो इट्स यूनिटी दैट वॉज वट नानक इज ऑल अबाउट सो वी पुट इन टू द शेप ऑफ ए खंडा खंडा इज लाइक यू नो किरपा ऑन किरपा ऑन यू नो and that we shape we created the terminal then the complete terminal within we put the complete art complete uh, travel of guru nanak of 32000 kilometers you know all over the world particularly and all the major four religions maybe muslim hindus jains buddhist he went all over we ex- put that into this then we put the expression of guru gurus uh, shabad there then the universal touch of nanak is that uh, guru granth sahib has all religious saints sitting into guru granth sahib that is farid namdev kabir dhanna ravidas you no know, all so uh, we put there that also there so once you go there and then center you find ek omkar that is what om to the sound of the universe Two is at oneness. That is one, and car is the creation. That is Guru Nanak. The oneness of the creation we put in the center, and then again three main aspects: Nam Japna, Kirat Karni, or Vant Chakna. So you know, Langar. You know that we try to put. So once you go there, you would find the complete history and the touch of all that, and you. automatically it's like a breathing place where there is a touch of non we tried that so i mean i am very fortunate that we doing that now we doing you know like ayodhya terminal building you know so there also we have a, a you know a, fortunately we are not talking about uh, nagra art to the the the, the, the hindu religions philosophy and uh, all that then i read ramayana the, all the 
you know, this thing, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, seven, um, uh, this thing, uh, chapters and understanding the complete philosophy of Ramayana and then translating that into the terminal building. So once you are there in the terminal building by itself, as if you have reached Ayodhya, yeah. you know, the main temple. So this is this is the type of, uh, I would say, the uh, uh, lately uh, for the last 20 years, whatever projects we are doing, like Bhuvneshwar Airport, where we put Jagannath Chariot mm. as the theme of the terminal building. Eh? Jagannath Chariot moving on the Kanak wheel, the temple motives, and all that is like a chariot moving and as if you are at Jagannath. And then again, inside also the same philosophy. So, I mean, that is what uh, I would say that uh, architecture of today, which we are trying emotions, like uh, in temple architecture also. Then I'm very fortunate that we also doing the uh, Ayodhya Mosque. I was going to ask you that yeah, in relation to doing the Ayodhya terminal, you're doing the Ayodhya Mosque. Also, 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 right? we are doing um, Ayodhya um, terminal to Ayodhya mosque to uh, Varanasi uh, air, the, airport, airport and, uh, and uh, also the ropeway. Yeah. I, I saw Ar the urban ropeways. First uh. urban ropeways in India where we are connecting railway station to Vishwanath temple. That's again a very ambitious project. Where the travel is now 10 minutes reaching out to Mandir mm -hmm. and from railway station. Otherwise, there are a lot of uh, 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 this thing um, uh, 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 on, on the uh, bottlenecks in the road. Yeah. So that is the how you layer the city, how you see that it starts, now it is choking. So today we are now need to see more into new ways of transportation system. Port, which is now like a part, port transportation, like we are now trying to put it uh, yeah, from Jaywar Airport to Greater Nuda. So these are the various means when because by another 2035 will be 100 crores people living in urban areas in India. 100 crores. Yeah. And transportation. Yeah, so transportation. Has to be solved. Yes, so we are trying to be very sensitive. How you layer the city? You need to layer it here. You need to layer it below underground. How there are now seven, six layers below the ground. And again, here multiple layers, about six layers on top. Like one is a flyover to a, a you know metro to rapid metro and then again you know many more other layers which are coming up. But uh, you need to be sensitizing that uh, they should not become as an eyesore. Yeah. And then somewhere you see when you go to Gurgaon and you when you enter to Sekandar Sekandar court here and it, it becomes all like a mess and you don't know how to go and how the movement is. So. Uh, because we are fast growing, for particular in urban structure, urban infrastructure, these are some of the very, very sensitive issues where we not, not to shift our one problem to another place, but see that we resolve issues and problems and at least create cities which are worthwhile to live for another 50 years. So that takes me to my next question to you. You have seen India from, I think you were born in the late 40s. Consciousness of where you're living would have come in by the late 50s. So from mid 50s to late 50s, you have seen how India has developed as a nation to where it is today. Can you, uh, in your own words, in your own tarike se, aap usko thoda sa describe kar sakte? Deko, abhi to Things are very, very difficult and a, a solution cannot be just given because it's, it has many layers, I would say, you know, and in case uh, we understand the humanistic approach, yeah. like today is all capacity building. Mm. We're trying to make big capacities. You know, but there is no capability statement. 
So that's the difference. So quality is missing. Quantity we are enlarging. And once you enlarge the quantity, then you need to be very holistic. That is still missing. We are overlapping many things. The interface between one to another is missing, which is required. So it's like time gap. And uh, I think in like Delhi, we need a master plan. A holistic master plan, vision master plan, not a DDM master plan. No DDM master plan, if we are making 2025, so by 2025, even 50 things, 50% will, will not be working. So we need a very vision master plan where we can estimate how the progressiveness is, you know, going. So there are many parameters which needs to be reflected in terms of making good cities, which probably we have to really look into. I am very sensitive on that. I have written a book also, Redefining Indian Smart Sustainable Cities of Tomorrow. You know, where I've touched all sustainability. I've talked about, uh, you know, Indian. I talked about the smart. We cannot be smart. You know, somebody told me, yeah, uh, our smart system is here. Our whole land will be filled, right? So, the alarm will be filled in MCD. So, he will know that the whole land will be filled from here. So, I said, all the whole land will be filled. We are seeing it. And somebody is not, no one is practically uh, removing it. Right. And we are, that's why we are in PM 2.5400. You know, sir, I was in, uh, I think it was Bergen in Norway. Uh, so, Bergen is very hilly. I don't know, Norway kabhi gaya nahi gaya. They, and some part of the town, they had come out with a very innovative solution. You know, the post box jaisi hoti hai. So they created structures like that and you would put your trash bag in and you have a smart card. So that's in that area, if I remember right. And the trash would get sucked. So the roads are narrow. They can't get these large trucks in the place. They created an underground uh, vacuum system. You put your trash bag, you tap your card and immediately just, you know, Jackson's very cartoon, when you hear shush, uh, trash bag uh, would uh, get sucked into and go into a centralized uh, area. Um, when you talk about this, you can see this thing. Technology has to not, I believe and I think uh, to an extent we probably go in that direction where technology cannot be an incremental improvement on what you are currently doing. It has to be a transformation in the way uh, things are happening. Uh, I hope we will go that uh, and we find some creative and innovative solutions to uh, these problems. But you know, kya ho hai ki, I would say that uh, 100 days back, we were, uh, you know, we, I mean, I, I can say we were like nomadic, you know, very, you know, cycling out or walking on foot, uh -huh. sitting under a tree, you know, that was the type of lifestyle in 19. 50s, you know, yeah. and now you become robotic, you know, all automation, yeah. like intelligent, uh, you know, artificial intelligence, you know, uh, somewhere down the line, I think we need to draw a line, you know, mm -hmm. so uh, where we, we, we are humanistic, we are emotional, we are, you know, we, 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 we have a touch with the nature, not today, you know, I live in an air conditioned apartment, yeah. you know, with no windows opening and totally centrally air conditioned and outside I have a beautiful natural trees and environment, yeah. so which I am just seeing. So why even outside, you can have 50 inch TV screen, what? you can have your What's forest, so? you can have your forest, you can have your forest, you can have your forest. So this is all, you know, artificiality. Yeah. So, when you are with nature, it is natural. So, I will say that when we do this, let's be minimistic and let's be with nature. And uh, let's try that we create sustainable architecture which is not artificial, like all central air condition. So, we can do that. That has been demonstrated for years and centuries in our country.
you know, usko today's intake is revival. We need to revive ourselves to the system which we age old. Aaj toh hum kehte hain pani nahi hai, hain hawa kharaab ho gayi. You know, everything is you know, Ganga Valley ho gayi. Hain, to Ganga Valley ho gayi, to ab kya karein? Hain, pani nahi hai. पानी नहीं है क्योंकि आपने स्टॉम वाटर आपका ड्रेन आउट हो रहा है डेट इज गोइंग टू द सीवरेज एंड उससे यमुना खराब हो रही है तो व्हाई कांट वी कंट्रोल दैट वाटर इमीजिएट वी हैव सेगमेंटेड वेल्स शेडेड वेल्स यू नो वी हैव लेक्स वी हैव प्लेसेस लाइक गटोरनी यहाँ पे सामने है सारा खाली पड़ा है वहाँ पे माइन्स थी पत्थर निकल गए वहाँ पे सारा खाली मतलब एक किस्म से आप वहां पे पानी सारा स्टोर कर सकते ओनली थिंग इज आपने ड्रेन बना नहीं है रॉन्ग पानी ले जाओ ओके वो पानी वहां खड़ा कर सूरज कुंड लेक हमारी सूख गई पानी नहीं जा रहा सो ऑल दी वैसे फ्लडिंग होती है हर साल वैसे यहां फ्लड हो रहा है सो सो सी दीस आर बेसिक फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चंस आई थिंक दे आर वेरी अलार्मिंग वी नीड टू एड्रेस देम इमीडिएटली अब आज एक बारिश हो जाए गुड़गांव से दिल्ली आने में आठ घंटे लगते हैं सो दीज आर बट नो वन इज टचिंग इट इसमें सेंसिटाइजेशन नहीं है ना अब क्या है कि अभी आप मैं आप मुझे बोलोगे ना कहीं पे भी पांच हजार करोड़ का प्रोजेक्ट बनाना है बना देगा कोई यहाँ पे तो पचास करोड़ भी नहीं लगना इसी प्रोजेक्ट को पचास हजार करोड़ का बना दीजिए लोग योर ऑन सेल दैट दिस इज माय नेशन दिस इज माय सिटी दिस इज माय नेबरहुड मैं अपना घर का कपड़ा कूड़ा अंदर से बाहर आके नाले में रख देता हूँ बाहर पूरे दान पे नहीं लेके जाता यहाँ से उठा लेगा कोई नहीं तो वहीं गंद बढ़ जाएगा सो दिस इज ऑल आई मीन नेशन कैन बी मेड विद पीपल हु लिव Yeah. and if we are i i think if we are conscious and we are desirous and we are sensitive we can do it so that is what i think now because we been slave for more than 1000 years you know moguls yeah. and then if we the the british English, and now abhi to maine 75 saal ho gaye you know independence ke hue so i think abhi aasta aasta नेक्स्ट जनरेशन सर वी आर ओनली 75 इयर्स यंग यंग यस तो अभी तो अभी तो बहुत कुछ करना है लेकिन है कि इच्छा होनी चाहिए कि देश मेरा है बस तो जिस दिन ये हो जाएगा ये प्रोजेक्ट मेरा है तो जब वो हो जाएगा ना कि भैया ये मैंने खाली पैसे कमाने के लिए नहीं करना इसको मैंने दिखाना है कि यस इट बिलोंग्स टू मी तो देयर द टच विल कम एंड एवरी नेबरहुड every project of yours will speak of yourself so that is the intake which i think everybody has to take that yaar isko apna kaam bhi hai na kaam ko ye mat samajhna yaar ki tumne isme se koi khali apne paise kama ke bahar nikal jana hai you are part of nation building aaj agar hum abhi kaam kar rahe hain ye wala urban road ways wala 6 mahine mein hum 700 crore ka project ban raha hai day and night kar rahe hain है ना हमारी सारी टीम बिजी है उसके बीच में काम करने के लिए वाराणसी का हमने अभी डेढ़ महीने में इसका टेंडर निकाल दिया एयरपोर्ट का यू नो बिकॉज वेन देर इज ए वे विल देर इज ए वे एंड नाउ आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो वेरी मच अपकमिंग उनको भी बहुत है कि भैया काम जल्दी हो क्रिएट हो ये हो वो हम भी कर रहे हैं तो उसमें जो है ना दोनों साइड से एक किस्म से मैं कहूँगा कि उसकी काम के लिए ना डिजायर दो तीन चीजें जो आपने कही मेरे आई वांट टू शेयर समथिंग कमिंग टू गेटिंग डिस्कनेक्टेड विद नेचर आई सदगुरु की किताब थी इन विच आई रेड दैट आई थिंक इट हाउ की किताब थी वही एड मैं बाई द एज ऑफ टेन टू ट्वेल्व टू थर्टीन किड्स आर सो एक्सपोज थ्रू टेक्नोलॉजी टू एवरी इन लाइफ पहले हमारे अंदर एक क्यूरियोसिटी होती थी इफ यू वुड गो टू द पार्क यू वुड वांट टू प्ले विद स्विंग यू वुड वांट टू रन बिहेंड द डॉग्स द डॉग्स वुड रन बिहेंड हम प्लांट्स ही सब खेलते थे बीच जाते थे तो 
सैंड को छूने की इच्छा होती थी समुद्र में जाने की इच्छा होती थी पहाड़ों में दर्ज एक्सप्लोरेशन एक्सेप्टा गो टू न्यू प्लेस हैड ऑफ क्यूरियासिटी बट विथ एवरी थिंग कमिंग ऑन टू अ स्मॉल स्क्रीन एंड अ टैबलेट एंड थ्रू गूगल पीपल हैव लॉस दैट सेंस ऑफ क्यूरियासिटी एंड वो क्यूरियासिटी जब खत्म होती है दैट्स वाई आई एम बोर्ड मुझे लाइफ में कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा दीज टाइप ऑफ थिंग स्टार्ट कमिंग अप एंड राइटली सेड connection with nature is extremely important because it humbles us as who we are as a uh, human being um, then someone else said something to me was that uh, don't ask a question uh, uh, you know save planet earth the question has to be save yourself earth was there before humans came earth will be there after humans question is how are you treating the earth will de- define how long you stay here तो थैंक यू फॉर मेरे को ये ये सब बातें याद दिलाने के लिए नाम शो फॉर दी ऑडियंस एज वेल आपने कहा था कि गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज बिकमिंग वेरी प्रो एक्टिव एंड यू हैड इंटरेक्शन विद आर प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी हाउ इज ही एज अ पर्सन हाउ विजनरी और प्रो एक्टिव इज ही आपके ओपिनियन में How is your reading, feeling, and आपकी इंट्रैक्शन उनके साथ कैसी रही है अभी तक देखो मैं तो <coughs> उनको दो बारी मिला रात थ्री तीन बारी okay. तो एक बारी तो आधा घंटे के बाद मेरी वन टू वन हुई उनके साथ एंड आई प्रेजेंटेड माई बुक ऑल्सो दिस डी रिफाइनिंग इन इन सस्टेनेबल स्मार्ट सिटी तो आई वॉज राइटिंग दैट बुक बिफोर ही स्टार्टेड इन स्मार्ट सिटीज तो मैंने वो लिखी तो मैंने उसमें ना इंडियन सस्टेनेबल मेरा वर्ल्ड स्मार्ट नहीं था उसमें उसके बाद में मैंने स्मार्ट भी डाला बुक में और देन आई प्रोसेस इनटू स्मार्ट वर्ल्ड तो आई वाज जस्ट आई टॉक टू हिम आई सेड दिस इज अ टाइम दैट आई फाइंड अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर हु इज टेकिंग लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट जो आपने मुझे बोला देखो हमें संस्कार चाहिए आज टूडे यू नो आई आई एम नॉट फेवरिंग एंड डिस फेवरिंग आज आज हिंदू शब्द को आज बोल रहे हैं कोई तो लोग बोलते हैं ना दैट इज अवर संस्कृति है हम तो पहले बिल्कुल ही भूल गए थे कि मैं हूं कौन है सामबडी लोगों ने मंदिर जाना ही बंद किया होता बच्चे जाते नहीं है ना when you lose your own sensitizing yourself with your own sanskar and we have the great heritage agar aaj revival ho rahi hai agar main samajh raha hu koshish kar raha hu that's another indirect way of understanding yourself and you will be away from jo 10 saal ka bachcha aaj wohi dekh raha hai na wo shayad usko ek geeta ka shlok aa jaye right वो हनुमान चालीसा शायद पढ़ दे वो गुरु ग्रंथ साहब में से चार शब्द पढ़ के कुछ समझ जाए दैट इज वॉट इज द टच ऑफ सोल जब तक आदमी आध्यात्मिक ज्ञान नहीं है ना तो आप दूसरा संस्कारिक जितना मर्जी विज्ञान सीख जाओगे ना यू कैन बी ओनली ए मैथमेटिशियन यू कैन नॉट बी एन इंप्लीमेंटर तो वो बहुत जरूरी है और मैं तो इसलिए कहता हूँ वी आर वेरी लकी दैट वी हैव सो मच ऑफ वैदिक कल्चर सो मच ऑफ सैंड्स एंड सेजिज हु बिन बोर्न इन दिस सब कॉन्टिनेंट तो अगर तब भी हम नहीं सुधर रहे तो अगर हम ग्लोबल को ग्लोबल इंपावरमेंट में फंस जाएंगे देन वी आर लूजिंग अर कल्चर ड्रेस लूजिंग एवरी गुड टूगेदर तो फिर तो अपने आप को भूल रहे हैं ना तो जब मैं अपना ही बैकग्राउंड ही भूल जाऊंगा तो फिर तो आई मीन टू ए कॉस्मेटिक वर्ल्ड तो उससे क्या है कि कोई धरती थोड़ा मर जाएगी द ह्यूमन स्पीसीज विल फिनिश हम अपने लिए वी बिकमिंग सुसीडेड फॉर अस सो लेट्स सी लेट्स बी कॉन्शियस दैट यार इतना मत कुछ क्राइम करो जितना कि हर चीज खराब हो जाए तो इट्स ए बिग लेसन एंड आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ अस नीड टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट to create a humanistic approach within our own self so that's uh, the the biggest uh, i would say con- a tribute to 
good architecture right you know and architecture perhaps why because they are the one who are creating the human settlement right. unke upar bhi blame bahut aata hai ye ki yaar agar kuch garbad ho rahi hai to yaar architect is to isko kar rahe hain lekin wo apni daal roti mein agar aise busy ho jayenge aur creation mein dhyan nahi rakhenge to these things will happen so i mean i also feel very sensitive when i see all this and uh, i write i uh, on i propagate you know we are passive smoker in delhi we smoke about 40 cigarettes a day uh-huh. and we see that we live into pride capital city of india that is delhi yes. you know to wo to kaise hoga theek hai aap bhi has gaye main bhi has gaya aur kisi ne kuch kiya nahi to kaise karenge so i think we need to find out ways Absolutely. and uh, create you know come back to a place where we see yaar mera pm 2.5 theek ho gaya पचास से नीचे आ गया आई होप फॉर दी ऑडियंस दैट्स बिन लिसनिंग इन एंड आई थिंक यू लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड आई रियली एंजॉयड आपका जो होलिस्टिक अप्रोच रहा है कनेक्टिंग द सोर्स ऑफ गॉड स्पिरिचुअलिटी आर्किटेक्चर एंड एड्रेसिंग द मॉडर्न नीड्स ऑफ Uh, human kind uh, i think that has been uh, amazing um i would like to say that uh, i've read your book seek to surrender in in addition to the passion you have for architecture you also have a big passion for giving to the community uh, for teaching for uh, upliftment i would say ऑफ ह्यूमन अराउंड यू एंड आपकी बातों से उसका पैशन बहुत अच्छे से झलकता है मैं एक चीज आपको बता देता हूँ थोड़ा मैंने कहा प्रोफेशनली टेक्निकली अपने बात कम की हाँ जी अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी या सो टुडे टेक्नोलॉजी प्लेज ए वेरी वाइटल रोल या तो हम जब जैसे चेन्नई एयरपोर्ट कर रहे थे मैंने आपको because we are the one in large span structure mein humne bahut kaam kiya hai particularly in steel you know larger span cantilever if we were the first one to bend half a meter pipe yes. 16 mm thick in chennai we created the thinnest flyover 400 mm with 75 mm vapor hollow steam cured so you know we brought technology 10 12 years back you know these this was not available in india right. and uh, we learned so much so i don't mean that uh, we need to be you know just uh, 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 i mean uh, nomadic and don't think of technology we need to advance ourselves understanding the ways and means for productive designs you know that's a must we need to update our you know knowledge and uh, you know unless and until you update yourself every now and then every hour every day and because things are changing so that's a must then only you can compete in the competitive world so that's that has to be looked into may into in terms of technology in terms of design process in like we work on bim you know com- our all works are like uh, you know a building intelligent management system so all the layers of the buildings are there into the design itself and uh, you, uh, the, the productivity become faster so, so how do you personally keep up with the change in technology aap kitna research karte ho khud kitna padhte ho kahan se late ho sir ye ye kya hai ki when you work people ask you right yaar ye aata hai tumhe to if you are blank to tum ghar jaoge na to kaisa khologe tum dekhoge yaar ye cheez mujhe nahi aati you have to admit it and you have to start looking into it and yaar maine a challenge ho gaya main isko seekhunga aur is ye technology launga so that every day you will come to know somebody around who will teach you a new thing or who will ask you some new thing so and if you ignore then you cannot advance and if you think yes i don't know it and i to update myself i have to create that sort of a facility where this question is somebody ask me tomorrow then i say yes 
I know it. So that is the way of progressiveness where you start looking into all these things together. I think if, if we, we do that and always be alert, always be alert, not, and not you, you say that you are an expert now. You, if you stop, तो वो पानी फिर स्टेगनेट हो गया ना तो वो गंदा ही हो जाएगा तो इसलिए तुम फ्लो चलते जाओ फ्लो चलते जाओ चलते जाओ ऑलवेज थिंक ऑफ न्यू इनोवेशन लुकिंग इनटू थिंग्स ऑल पुट टुगेदर देन यू नो एवरी डे विल बी अ न्यू लाइफ एवरी प्रोजेक्ट विल बी अ न्यू हॉरिजन एंड एवरी थिंग वट यू डू विल हैव न्यू सेंसिटिविटी सो दैट विल क्रिएट द बेस्ट ऑफ एक्सीलेंस इन आर्किटेक्चर i think not only excellence in architecture i think that's relevant for any field yes. whether it's a sports it's arts it's uh, technology driven businesses traditional businesses architecture kahin bhi ho if you're not chasing if you're not the curiosity ki how can i get better every day how can i make life of people around me better every day if we don't start working in that direction स्टेग्नेशन आएगा स्टेग्नेशन से बोर्डम आएगी बोर्डम से डाउन फॉल आता है अभी तो मैं आई थिंक आई वी नॉट शेयर वी आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट ए डिजाइन सेंटर हेयर ऑन द अपोट थ्री डिजाइन सेंटर बनाया हम बना रहे हैं हम वे आर बिकॉज इफ यू आर इन आइसोलेशन एज अ फ्रॉग इन वेल लाइक एन आर्किटेक्ट ओनली एंड यू आर नॉट यू नो विद लाइक ए गुड आर्टिस्ट और ए पेंटर एज कप्चरिस्ट or or a fashion designer or you know even a filmmaker you know a, a craftsman you know a weaver you know a, you know all those we trying to put in here you know so that all designs put together can get an interface from one design to another design and then creating a good human settlement because if i took only as a build build form as only a design or architecture how do fill in various things put together how the material application is there how the other artist and other design people product design yeah. you know fashion design they are very important how but it's only the dimensional values which are different then we start learning from various other designs the humanistic values and then uh, have that interface which i think will be very productive in creating a very sustainable architecture that i think one of the very ambitious project which we are now taking and let's hope for the best you know um when do we uh, when do we expect this project to become like another four months time i think by uh, april we'll be able to create this facility uh, where we'll have a lot of dialogue a lot of workshops interaction teaching learning you know all put together where you know you play with clay you playing with metal you playing with you know all uh, uh, i would say the 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 uh, uh, the left outs you know this one garbage ke the yaar junk eh junk ke sath create karo you know from plastic waste plastic bottles you are doing something or some other waste you know and usme se design nikalne wala or who can be that is how then you did your giving back to the society and sometime you know everybody if suppose comes here for you know ek hafte mein char ghante laga de yaar to apna idea dega dusra karega baat karenge dialogue hoga sambhad hoga kuch na kuch nikal ke aayega aur usi mein se mera kaise hamare pm 2.5 theek ho jaye 100% uh abhi gadkari ji ka ek interview dekha tha i think on a forum he spoke that how they using uh, plastic in uh, road. road construction yes, yes. and how they pushing the boundary and keep increasing the amount of uh, plastic that goes in yes, yes. Um, and i think uh, he said or oh, that was my takeaway ki plastic is a necessary evil for us uske bina zindagi aasani chal nahi sakti to saying to eliminate plastic to zero is not practically possible but finding alternative usage of plastic where it actually goes into such projects uh, will is amazing so i really look forward to in four months time <laughs> uh, coming and seeing this uh, lovely project of yours so what's your take on net zero no dekho abhi kya ho raha hai ki पहले हम कंज्यूम ज्यादा करते हैं hmm. फिर हम कहते हैं इसको हम रिड्यूस करें सो दे आर टू वेज ऑफ वी ऑल आर प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिकली नेट जीरो 
we will we even look beyond net zero you know net zero is that uh, we are we don't uh, practically import anything from outside mm. and any maybe it's a house or a neighborhood or a or a or or, 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 or a, a district center or a hospital building or uh, you know and maybe an airport or even a railway oh. station uh, so i don't borrow from outside i produce my own energy and i produce my own water i do zero liquid solid based management that is net zero so how do i produce my electricity you know now alternative ways that i don't have fossil and i even not thermal so i put like solar windmill biogas all that you know and produce that energy right. which uh, probably if i am able to make it off the grid and uh, i produce total in my campus the other is how do i see that but we talking about the water conservation one is that you know the water table going down and we say okay do rain water harvesting and we make a bore well and so that the sub waters level goes up the other is that i store my storm water so i within every campus uh, probably not that i am a follower of vastu shastra mm -hmm. but uh, we try to put some way where the lowest portion is there and uh, probably if can could be northeast then you know even the vastu shastra people also feel happy that my water is coming from the northeast so we make uh, a, a lake a water body which can be a recreational water body right or make a step well shaded step well so that evaporation of water is less in the hot and dry climate you know or a pond you know all these things we make within the neighborhood and so water resource management is taken care of you don't have to really get any municipal water tumhara pani aa gaya ab ke ki how do you segregate waste as you said plastic kitchen waste soil you know all that is again segregated and i try to produce either energy through a like an incineration plant or some other way of doing it biogas from kitchen waste to biogas and i i use it for cooking you know all these things will see that you cycle recycle and recycle it and that is what is sustainable architecture to so within tumhare campus mein sara yog we were doing iit jodhpur design so there what we did we even made uh, orchards okay husbandry no milk my own poultry within the campus and produce everything there and make it as a you know a complete operational model was created so that uh, the the villagers whose land i have taken they are participative they also get the employment wow and other is that i become i owe also my grain my rice everything within and uh, once you are making a large campus where you have so much of negative spaces lying so that is how you create net zero we were also why i am saying we doing jamshedpur city tatas 64 square kilometers you know and there also we tried that how do you create that as park within city city within park you no know, walkable cyclable city so all the left out vacant spaces in the city we got it collected the green was 10% when they were all the vacant spaces we got it like the green became 50 60% or and all that green all that area was combined together and made into a larger loops and we connected all that green with one green to another green and the neighborhood here yeah. so one neighborhood to another neighborhood connected from the green and the whole city became green so this is how amalgamating the negative spaces into positive behavior of green spaces which can be done to abhi delhi mein bhi hum bas इधर भी ग्रीन है उधर भी ग्रीन है इधर भी वो कनेक्ट नहीं है 
So let's see that how we connect them together and then I can walk around. From here, if the green spaces, sorry, I can go to the cycle. Now I can go to the cycle. Now I can go to the cycle. There is no place to go. There is no place to go. But for the place to be a place to be a place to be a place to be a place. So we have to do that. Like you do that, I traveled in Berlin. I was cycling. I and my son were both cycling. We were cycling and we were cycling and we were going to the other side. So we were going to our own hotel. So that is what we need to do. Very, very sensitive, small steps can create walkable cities. So that's another intake where from net zero to walkable city we do and then you know we even we create cities are which are net net zero. We will not have any fight that Ganga ka pani nahi aa raha hai ya Satluj ka pani nahi aa raha hai. Zarurat hi nahi. Apna pani rakh lo yar. Ye saara barish ke pani mein ikatta kar lo na. Sufficient. Ek barish se main pani ikatta kar lo. Ek saal ke liye bahut hai. Or dus barish ke kar lo to pata nahi dus. मेरे कितने साल निकल जाएंगे? I do my landscape, I do this. ये जितना sprinkler करना है ना, अभी dust जो पड़ी हुई है सड़क के ऊपर, जिसे PM 2.5 इतना बड़ा हुआ है, तो मैं ये dust सारी मैं साफ कर लूँगा पानी से। और मैं सारा, why I can have grey water? सारा channelage का जो सड़क के ऊपर side में लगाओ, गाड़ी में क्यों ला रहे हो? Pipe डालो, pipe डाल के पूरी Delhi go up green kar do yaar, wani se dho dho raat. And Delhi has a lot of green cover. Yeah, it has green cover. But it has so much of dust that in spite of that green, we are facing this problem. I, if you see from sky, I say, upar se dekho saara green nazar aar hai. Lekin jab niche ho, to patte dekho mitri se bharega. So that is what is required. जब मैं अगर उसको पानी की बिछार डाल दूँ ना भी तो पानी कितना डाल दूँ आर्टिफिशियल रेन और वो दूसरा पंप कुछ नहीं कर कुछ नहीं होता सॉरी सॉरी आई आई डोंट वांट टू गो डाउन दैट लेट्स नॉट गो दैट इट्स सुपर आपने कम्युनिटी कम्युनिटी के लिए बहुत कुछ किया यू आर इन्वॉल्व्ड इन अ लॉट ऑफ कम्युनिटी प्रोजेक्ट सोशल प्रोजेक्ट चैरिटेबल प्रोजेक्ट्स उस पे थोड़ा इलैबोरेट करना चाहते हैं कौन सा आपके लिए आपके दिल के करीब कौन सा देखो मैं ना मुझे दस साल पहले ना हमारा गुरुद्वारा है इधर साकेत में तो वो सब ने मुझे ना उसका जबरदस्ती इंचार्ज बना दिया मैंने कहा यार मैं टाइम नहीं दे पाऊंगा मैं बिजी हूँ काम में तो मैं वहाँ बन गया तब तो फिर मैंने सोचा यार कि क्या किया जाए एक प्लेटफॉर्म मिला है मुझे तो भाई एक गुरुद्वारे में दो घंटे सवेरे भगवान का नाम लेंगे और दो घंटे शाम को फंक्शन होता है बाकी सारा दिन इतनी जगह खाली पड़ी देन आई थॉट या लेट्स सी दैट वी डू द परपस गुरुद्वारा इज नॉट ओनली वर्कशिप इट शुड बिकम लाइक एन इंस्टीट्यूशन लेट्स सी हाउ वी डू इट देन आई स्टार्टेड लुकिंग एट इट तो मैंने फिर अपनी तरफ से हमने कोशिश की कि भाई इधर एक हम क्लिनिक बनाए होली क्लिनिक तो वेरी फॉर्चुनेटली अभी हमारे मैंने जो अभी बनाया इधर तो तकरीबन 400 पेशेंट आते हैं। We have all the facilities, we have physiotherapy, we have eye center, we have ultrasound, we have X-ray digital and all doctors come. We have two chairs of dental. Then now we are adding ten dialysis machine and also probably an MRI machine. So that and all this is you know people from you know from you know Sad Laja from Madan Gir and other people we it's absolutely free like you know we take thirty rupees and even give medicine free so thirty rupees we take just yeah the wife hack mat de you know so that is what we have tried and doing it and other is health and other is education so. कंप्यूटर तो सबको आजकल आना चाहिए कंपलसरी और बच्चे हमारे पास छठी फेल सातवीं फेल इवन पांचवी कई बच्चे बिल्कुल पढ़े ही नहीं हुए वो हमारे पास आ जाते हैं तो हमारे पास 1600 बच्चा पढ़ रहा है फ्रॉम ऑल दिस एरिया जिसको हम मैं माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एडोब बेसिक टू यू नो ऑटोकैड टू फोटोशॉप � we have more than 125 computers and uh, in rotation from 9 to 9, you know, if somebody is working, he can come at 8 o'clock. Somebody, you know, with the first shift in school, he can come in the second shift and, you know, like that, you know, 
so that is what i think uh, uh, beside all this if we start looking at to and uh, do the community development in education and health so it's not koi sarkar nahi karna hai to hum log bhi isme yogdan de kisi tarike se to pehle pehle tha bhai paisa kahan se aayega lekin jab aapka kaam aise aap karo to bhagwan apne aap aapko help karta hai aur sending you the direction yes yani so as you said our responsibility as citizen of the country is uh, towards nation building and i think you are an inspiration in that direction are uh, amazing thank you thank you amazing so you are also the founder of this project the smart habitat center so you started the smart habitat center in 2000 uh, what's the purpose what was the vision wahan kya hota hai actually kya hai na ki mujhe ab more than 50 years ho gaye practice mein yeah. so generally everybody says yaar and i am also into teaching yes so uh, that my passion i i've been professor in uh, and director in schools of architecture and even in spa and jamia millia you know to main dekhta tha ki bhai jo interface hai na between practice of an arch- architecture mm. and education mm. that is missing what is being perhaps taught in schools of architecture is defunct today yeah not required and what is required in practice is not being taught in the schools of architecture right so why after 5 years of engineer to 4 saal mein engineer ban jata hai to so architect 5 saal mein 5 saal mein architect kyon nahi ban pa raha usko kyon kaha ja raha hai yaar tujhe aata nahi hai kuch so that is what was pinching so humne kaha yaar let's make a platform where we teach the students and also the trainers so from smart habitat foundation we teach the students like uh, fourth year final year students who are just grown up and they can so yeah we have they we made them stay here right within our uh, campus here and uh, they stay about for 15 20 days we arrange all the boarding lodging everything here then we teach them and then on a subject like uh, one of the subject which we did was like evolution of steam right so we taught them everything there were more than 50 head of the departments who come and interact with them also you know from various schools of architecture and then we make that as a publication i'll give you that publication also yeah yeah please so that and uh, plus uh, also the teachers like from apj school you know like from mm university from uh, ip university from spa the teachers come here Right. and on different topics then we discuss that how do you make the working drawings how do you make the students understand the various application of applied architecture the engineering the mep how they how do you interface that you know all that we also uh, you know practically interact with the uh, teachers so that this is the way you should look forward and teach so that the student knows the basics so these are some certain things which uh, we face problems with the students when they come to us and uh, it doesn't look good that uh, you know an architect coming after 5 years and he doesn't have the fundamentals clear so that is how we even teach the teachers so that they can also reflect upon and uh, beside that we also create you know various uh, conference halls uh, uh, workshops and you know, all that where we take some topic or the other and basically our input is on mainly on to construction and technology so that we take from this forum challenge so i think the most amazing part has been that you have identified a problem that you have faced at work through all the conversations is what i one of my biggest takeaway has been our problem identify ki and you didn't let the problem be a general problem you went in and solved the problem and not to solve the problem for yourself uh, you realize that you are facing a problem others are facing the same problem and you want to try and solve it for the whole community and that sir is an absolutely amazing amazing uh, skill wish uh, will power kuch bhi keh lijiye ability keh lijiye uh, god's grace keh lijiye um, i think uh, I hats off and I've 
thoroughly enjoyed having this conversation with you uh, your journey from a very humble beginning uh, getting to architecture starting as a small business scaling up to such a large scale and not only in your business front on the social front uh, what you have done for the community uh, at large through the gurudwara through the smart habitat center through your various philanthropic work your engagement with the government on ensuring the communities to become better and better and better uh, has been absolutely amazing and that you know restricted yourself to india you work you're working across the globe wherever god's hand takes you god's will takes you so thank you for this thank you. Thank amazing you. conversation thank you. Yes. Okay. if you like this episode of beyond blueprints don't forget to press the like share and subscribe button press the bell icon down here so that you are updated with the latest content